welcome to another episode of Jeff Exclamation Point. All right, I gotta bring you in close on this one because it's a little bit of a sad day today. Little bit of a sad day because it's almost February and I still have the Christmas tree up. I know, you're like, Jeff exclamation point, it's time to take down your Christmas tree. So that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to take down the Christmas tree and I got some really cool stuff to show you that I just got. So this is going to be a fun episode of Jeff exclamation point. Get ready. So here is my Christmas tree. It's a little small one, and if you guys remember from the vlog I did, I was uh, hoping to get some ornaments from some friends uh, to help decorate the tree. And uh, I got some really cool stuff, so let me show you what all I got. So the first thing I got is this really cool Hufflepuff ornament here, because I am a Hufflepuff. And then I got a universal ornament here because that's one of my favorite theme parks and you can see it spins around it says Universal Studios and I absolutely love the uh, the gold that's here on the side oh yeah and that's E.T. say hi to E.T. he's gonna be like hey what's up it's Jeff exclamation point yay alright that's E.T. right there but then a couple of my friends gave me some stuff as well uh, this one came from my best friend Don. We are both a little obsessed with wine, <laughs> and uh, of course she, uh, I, I showed you that one video where I went to the uh, Hubert Wine Winery and got like $150 worth of wine. Uh, so she went there and found this Christmas ornament made out of cork from wine bottles. And see it's a little angel on top. And it's just absolutely adorable. So I love that. And then my friend Jason, his wife Michelle, and their two kids got me this awesome Buzz Lightyear ornament. And it's like he's in the claw machine. Oh, and I love this thing so much. I got so excited when I pulled it out of the box. So uh, thank you so much for those guys. I appreciate it. It definitely helped out my tree this year, and uh, hopefully next year I'll get some more ornaments. So it's super sad that Christmas is over, but we got a lot of cool stuff happening really soon. But right now I have a day off, and I got to take down the Christmas tree. So I'll be back. And just like that, the tree is gone. So my tree is all packaged up, ready to go take a nap for next year. So that's the tree and the box, and then I wrapped up the ornaments in a towel so they won't break. There are the lights. This is the one I didn't use, so maybe I'll use that next year. But it's all ready to be packed away for next year. All right, gang, here we go. What's in the box? Now, I know what's in the box, but you don't. And guess what we're going to do? Open it together. Yay! All right, here we go. And, voila, look at that, it's my new magic band. I got, my first magic band I got was yellow. Then the last one I got was green. And this time I went with blue. And there we have it. There is my new blue magic band. I actually really like this color. There we go, look at that, it says my name. I got something else that's really, really exciting to show you guys. And I'm like, I've been wanting one of these for a very long time. Uh, and I, I've, I've like, I've been good to myself lately. Cause I mean, I got the new, I got the, uh, the new entertainment stand there. Um, I got the new TV that you see there, which I am completely in love with that television. And I'm completely in love with the entertainment stand with the little fake fireplace that's right there. Like, I, I've, been, I've been treating myself pretty nicely lately, but I bought something else 
and I'm taking you in the kitchen. Oh, here come the lights. I'm taking you in the kitchen to show you this. You ready for this? Oh, this is so exciting. I got an espresso maker. Look at this thing. Oh, and I love it so, so much. It makes lovely cups of espresso. There we go, I just dropped the, uh, the cartridge. It's really cool, whenever you use a cartridge in here, it drops out right into there. The one thing I don't like about this particular unit is it, it, dro it drips. It drips a lot. Um, but the dripping all goes down here and I'm able to just dump out the liquid whenever. So, I've been wanting one of these forever and I finally got it. I'm completely in love with it. So the first time I actually made a cup of coffee with a Nespresso maker, uh, I did not like it at all. And I was actually very worried uh, because that's, um, uh, the machines are not cheap. It's not a cheap product to have. It's not a cheap product to continue using. And I was trying to figure out what in the world was wrong and uh, I determined it was the milk I was using because I was using it to make a, a latte. Uh, I was using an almond coconut blend milk, which is the milk I like using for my cereal. Uh, so I went back to the store and I bought just regular 2% milk. And oh my gosh, <laughs> it is so good. Oh my gosh, it can make a latte. I never really just uh, would drink a, an espresso by itself. And now I'm kind of hooked on it. It's just a really, really, really uh, good machine. So a couple of things that came with the machine. Uh, the number one and one of the reasons I really wanted this machine uh, was it was bundled with the Nespresso uh, milk frother. Uh, this thing, on its own, costs $100. On its own. Uh, the whole unit, this bundled with the Nespresso machine, uh, I found a really good sell, and I think I paid $140 for both. The machine, the maker that I just showed you guys, as well as the frother. Uh, this right here uh, has the little button right there. If you hit it once, uh, it's going to froth up the milk uh, where it's nice and hot. Uh, but if you hold it down, uh, the light will turn blue on the little button right here, and it will froth it up cold for you. So if you're wanting that cold beverage. And that's what it looks like inside. That little whisk, it's kind of held in through a magnet right there. And spins it and makes the milk all frothy for you. And it is the perfect amount for like... Um, I wouldn't say an American size latte, but a European size latte. And that's kind of what this is system's all about. Uh, it's not the same as going to Starbucks and getting a giant coffee drink. Uh, these are meant for like little sipping coffee drinks. In fact, here are the pods that it comes with. And you can see how small they are. And basically it punctures a hole in the middle and then on the side here, pushes water, I believe, through the middle, and then the espresso comes out on the sides. And the cool thing about these pods, unlike uh, the Keurig pods, uh, these are recyclable. And they actually just uh, sent me a, um, a bag so I can recycle them in the bag. Uh, apparently what they do is once I send them to the company, uh, they clean out all the coffee grinds on the inside and reuse these to make new ones. Uh, and the bag they gave me actually has a shipping label on it and they will uh, I can ship up to four pounds of these little Nespresso makers and uh, you know help save the environment But the reason I wanted this particular one because there's newer models out there for the Nespresso maker uh, This particular model. This is the old one uh, the older model fits These little capsules right here that are made, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it clearly. Yes, there it is. Made by my favorite coffee place in the world, Pete's Coffee and Tea. So Pete's Coffee and Tea sells little companion espresso makers, that uh, little pods that fit the Nespresso maker. 
and oh my gosh, it was like going back and having a Pete's latte from the actual Pete's shop. Uh, if you didn't know this, I am in love with Pete's coffee and tea. And the bad thing about living in Orlando, Florida is we do not have a Pete's coffee and tea <laughs> anywhere in this state or surrounding states. Um, I have to go to like California or something to actually go to a shop. So I do a lot of ordering online and getting my Pete's sent to me. Uh, I absolutely, gosh, I love their coffee. Um, but I was very excited to see that Target would sell these. Uh, a package of 10 of these costs about $7.99. Uh, a package of 10 Nespresso capsules, uh, depending on what you get, always range. You're looking about $7.50 for a package of 10. Uh, and that kind of gives you an idea of the cost. Uh, the newer pods that are, they have for the newer machines, you're looking at a little over a dollar a pod um, for those. So uh, I, that's another reason I got the older machine because, you know, I, I need to watch the money. But I got a little thing of uh, coffee pods right here. And of course, whenever you get your unit, Nespresso uh, gives you a little sample. I've used like one of these so far. So you can figure out which ones you like, which ones you don't, and then you can order from there. Now, one of the great things about being in Orlando, especially uh, where I live, is that at this mall, it's kind of a high-end mall, it's called the Mall of Millennia, uh, they actually have in Macy's on the third floor, a Nespresso boutique. And I went there today uh, because they found some uh, Nespresso glasses uh, like these really beautiful clear glasses uh, I wanted to buy uh, and then I was going to go home and whenever you are a brand new customer to them, you, build, you open up an account for the first time, you get a, a new machine, uh, they offer you a welcome package, which is basically you're buying a whole bunch of coffee at once and then they give you a free gift on top of that. So um, I was going to do that online and come to find out I can do it at the boutique and just not have things shipped to me, I can just bring it home right there, which made me very happy. So uh, let me show you what I got because, and it's heavy, but I got a lot of stuff. These are like little boxes of Nespresso, right? Each of these has about 10 of those Nespresso capsules. I got 20 boxes. I have 200 capsules of Nespresso. Uh, so hopefully this will last me six months to a year. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, the cost of that, just the coffee, was about $150. So $150 and that got me uh, uh, two, um, 200 <laughs> Nespresso capsules, which is amazing. But then as we're getting and doing all this, uh, I guess they work off commission, I don't know. But as soon as I told the girl uh, who was helping me uh, what I was wanting to buy, her eyes got about this big and got very excited to help me. And uh, she ended up giving me uh, two of the boxes for free. So I have 220 Nespresso capsules just ready to go but I'm gonna show you the gift that it came with. So this is what I got. This was my free gift. It's the uh, the View collection and their little espresso mugs and saucers inside. And I absolutely love the look of these and uh, wanted to get them, uh, but they were free. Uh, I believe they're about $20 each. So either 15 or $20 each. Uh, for the two cups and the two saucers that are in both of these. But the packaging, I mean, we'll put this one aside. I haven't opened this up yet to see it, but the packaging is like everything. Look at this. Oh, and what does it look like inside? Look at that. So, here is the little saucer. And it's, um... Matted on one side, shiny on the other side. Oh my gosh. And they're like, they're like heavy. Like, oh, it's really good. Uh, but here's the other little saucer that comes with it. I am like so excited for these. 
we'll put that there. Here is the little espresso cup. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, I am completely in love with this. And if it's, uh, if you're able to see it, there's the little Nespresso symbol right there at the front. And there is the whole setup right here. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Now let me show you the reason why I went to this store uh, in the first place, and it was to buy uh, cappuccino cups. And let me show you what I bought. Uh, the two of them, they only bought two, and it comes with a saucer. So two saucers, two cups, and it was $25, I wanna say. Don't hold my word on it. I wanna say $25, I'll double check. But let me show you what they look like. We'll unbox them together. So here is the coffee mugs, or for the uh, Lungo mugs. And these are pretty much what I'm gonna be using to make my lattes in because I wanted something, of course, you know, bigger than the espresso cups, but uh, that I could make just a small little latte when I wanted one. And here it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, so we got the same type of saucer again. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with these saucers. How pretty are these? So, a little larger than the other one. Another little saucer here. And then the cups are just beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to drink a latte out of this. And then just like the other ones, there's the little Nespresso symbol right there. So here is the complete collection of everything I got. 22 boxes of Nespresso capsules, two uh, Lingo mugs, and by the way, these mugs uh, were $25 for two with the two saucers. The free gifts I got were the little espresso mugs with the saucers. And then of course, here's the Nespresso maker and the milk frother. So here's the whole thing right there. I got my coffee. Oh my God. And it's amazing. I am happy. And that's going to do it for this episode of Jeff exclamation point. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and guys, I will see you next Tuesday. All right, everyone. Take care. Bye.